It's been a very tough competition, but the latest bullshit press release winner is in. I'm John Cadogan from autoexpert.com.au and I get new cars cheap for buyers here in Australia. You can inquire at the website about that. Ladies and gentlemen, dudes and dudettes, red-headed secretaries working together and wistfully reminiscing about that fateful afternoon in the sauna after that long, boozy lunch. Where was I? Ah, yes. One of my favourite subjects. Bullshit. The creme de la creme of crap de la crap. In this report, we finally have a winner! Yes! A late-breaking winner for my coveted auto-expert, the Protfi Award, which I just made up. The Protfi, of course, is certain to be steeped in history by the time I am, I don't know, 145 years old, which is like... uh, year after next, if memory serves. It stands, of course, for Bullshit Press Release of the Financial Year. The Protfi. Strong efforts this fiscal year from Nissan, Holden, and, of course, the Federal Chamber of Toyota Appeasing Industries. And by appeasing, well, I think you know what that might mean. If not, just go out and watch any recent Dyson television commercial. I'm certain you'll get the picture. Surprise winner came in just two days before the all-important June 30 cut-off to a delightful release from the offices of Jimbo Vorty Bartfast over at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for Struggling Car Dealers. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Dealers urge GM to participate in arbitration. According to a source who may not exist, they were going to run with dealers urge GM to participate in jumping into the Marianas Trench, but it wouldn't fit into the space. I mean, they have very strict protocols indeed with a two-line headline, may not exceed, it's that kind of thing. Nice headline, though. You can see the problem here, right? Anyone? It just jumps off the page at me like the balls on a big black dog. But then, I did pay attention at school, which makes me kind of a misfit. Hashtag Australia. Anyone? Dealers. Dealers what? Apostrophe S. Apostrophes, right? So confusing. I think you'd agree. This headline just leaves me hanging, like maybe I'm missing something. Thank the dead, but allegedly resurrected son of God for fucking apostrophes by fucking apostrophe Jedi Simon Griffin. He does clear it all right up in this little green book. Take one of these, I'd suggest, and if symptoms persist, go back in time and tell your younger self to pay more attention at school. Pro tip, he's not going to listen. I don't know what possessed... The authors of Car Dealer Apologist Monthly, or whatever they're called, to insert this malignant king apostrophe, thus destroying the clear intent of the message. Perhaps there was no other way diplomatically to convey the fact that illiterate car dealers and their representatively illiterate peak body really did want GM deep in that Marianas Trench at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Who knows? I really can't see this being some sort of, I don't know, elegantly crafted, covert, attributive fucking apostrophe. I can't even see it being a fucking apostrophe denoting contraction. That's kind of more common. I think you'd agree. Like, dealer is urge GM to participate in arbitration. That's not funny. I suppose it's possible if you speak pigeon dealer... Dealer is what dealer do do, I suppose, but probably not. Hashtag Occam's Razor. Nor can I fathom a case for a fucking apostrophe denoting singular possession, like 
I don't know. For example, dealer's trophy wife. A dealer's trophy wife right there, apostrophe S, for disambiguation. Expensive hobby too they've got, isn't it? Trading in and upgrading to that new enhanced model every few years. But they all do it, seemingly. Of course, fucking apostrophes can go after the S as well as in dealers' trophy wives. The trophy wives, grammatically at least, belonging to several dealers. Three of them right there, upliftingly enough. Fucking apostrophe after the S denoting collective possession. Kind of like watching Linda Blair in The Exorcist on three TVs contemporaneously. Look me in the eye and tell me you've not wanted to do that. Those dealers, trophy wives, S apostrophe, like moths on a light bulb during a balmy summer evening. It's kind of what they do when you think about it. So, thank you very much, Jimbo and team over at Car Dealer Sans Frontier. Your elegantly understated Beprofi trophy is COVID safe and on board to you now via the Ruby Princess, along with a signed complimentary copy of Fucking Apostrophes to assist your fine communications team in crystallizing their intent. You proud Beprofi winning dudes and dudettes have made a believer out of me at this difficult time. I think we will all sleep easier knowing that illiterate car dealers are represented by good folk such as yourselves. Of course, if you are a parent watching this report, you might want to show it to your young kiddies, where it might serve as something of a warning, perhaps effectively to demonstrate what might happen should the little bastards choose not to pay attention during school. In fact, when I am erected as your next pry mincer, I will of course push the fucking apostrophe awareness bill through both houses of parliament in an ongoing effort to make Australia less shit. And as your prime mincer to the manufacturers of the year 2020 AD, I would respectfully impute at this point that you have breached the acceptable quality consumer guarantee. 2020 has in fact been emphatically shit, now that I think about it, and it is operating contrary to my erection campaign. I am therefore returning 2020. I've given you every opportunity to repair it, and yet it remains defective. <coughs> it's not personal, it's just that my cock and I, we have an erectorate to represent. And we take this kind of thing very seriously indeed. You may now, of course, do with 2020 what you will. I reject it without reservation. Perhaps you could jam the unused portion of the year where clerical leaders typically fear to wash, at least enthusiastically. On behalf of my fine constituents, my cock and I demand a refund in full because it's just not good enough. 2020 has devolved into the Land Rover of Gregorian calendar years. And nobody wants that.